What is going on everybody? This is going to be a video on Don't Care About Ice's unique 4-3 normal cover 2 style defense that propelled him to victory at the New York Jets Club Series Championship where he ended up beating two pretty prominent players in AKG and Franchise. This clip is going to be from the final seconds of his semi-final matchup against AKG, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, after going back and watching his games, his defense oddly reminded me of like a mixture between Madden 17 nickel blitz and Madden 17 like 4-6 normal cover 2 invert and that the blitzing scheme looks a lot like nickel blitz did last year and the back end coverage has a very cover 2 invert style feel of course he's running a cover 2 style defense so that's not really odd but basically the principles are the same as last year in terms of when you're blitzing his whole goal is to get this guy off the edge free and it's basically nickel blitz it even looks like nickel blitz aside from the fact that instead of a nickel corner out there it's now a outside linebacker so as you can see base line pinch d line crash them out and basically the whole goal is to get this defensive end to occupy the left tackle defensive tackle occupy the left guard and you get this outside linebacker in free off the edge now the backside coverage is what's pretty cool to me where he goes he ends up dropping his opposite the opposite side of his D line into coverage more times than not and what he does is he almost always spies the backside defensive tackle and then he'll drop the backside defensive end into a hard flat and so what this does he has a hard flat shooting out there but he also has this Richard Sherman item out there that I'm sure it's either the power up or the most feared both have 91 or above zone coverage and those 91 zone defenders and cloud flats essentially play both the cloud and the hard flat at the same time. They're in a cloud flat, so they're going to cover all the corner routes, the C routes, all that type of stuff. But then they react so quickly to everything underneath that they break on the ball so fast, they're hitting the ball carrier or hitting the receiver as soon as the ball gets to them. So they essentially play both routes. So until that defensive end is able to leak out there and really get into the hard flat, uh, that Richard Sherman item is going to adequately defend both options so he doesn't really have to worry about that side of the field almost at all now on the back end he's got the backside cloud flat as well I'm sure I'm not sure exactly who he has out there but I'm sure it probably is a 91 zone defender uh, to play that backside cloud flat and then of course he's got the cover two shell so two deep halves from his safeties and then what he does is this is actually a blitz that can be it's symmetrical so it can be mirrored from either side he tried to run it from the right a couple times but it seemed like he definitely preferred to run it from the left and so what he would do more times than not is he would use her the backside outside linebacker right here so you take that left outside linebacker move him to the middle and then what he would end up doing is he would drop the middle linebacker into that deep third so that's kind of where the cover to invert style defense comes in where it's almost like from last year it's not the invert in the sense of the corners dropping back and the safeties coming up it's the invert in the sense of uh, out of that four six normal you'd have that free safety that played that you know middle of the field rover style of zone and that's kind of what that middle linebacker dropping back into that middle third reminds me of just a little bit but obviously more nickel blitz tendencies than anything out of this and it was very effective for him so you're gonna see on this play right here and it's so important to note right here you see AKG identifying the Mike linebacker identifying that right outside linebacker who's blitzing off the edge as the mic so he's telling his O lineman I want you to block these guys at whatever means necessary he is the most important guy to block on the field right now and you're gonna see exactly what happened so snap of the ball and you see two instant double teams left tackle left guard double team the defensive end shooting out and then the center and the right guard double team the defensive tackle and that's kinda where it gets a little glitchy so those the tackle guard combo double teams a little too often and what ends up happening is anybody coming off the edge even though AKG identified him as the Mike linebacker he's still going to come off the edge and scream at AKG force him to roll right and then once he rolls right you know don't care about ice really has his pick he can send the spy at him to put him on a clock he he basically cuts the field in half it makes your life as a defense a lot easier whenever your opponent's quarterback you know is instantly rolling out the pocket and has a, a clock either whether it's the backside defender chasing him or the QB spy crashing down so you're gonna see right here and you see the the routes developing and you see the zones developing as well so you see deep zone deep zone you see the cloud flat out here essentially locking up everything and this was also really good 
as to why, you know, it, or it could have also been a reason, I should say, as to why Ice was sending this blitz off the left edge, and specifically AKG's matchup a lot, because AKG had a lot of routes, as you can see, flowing to the left side of the field. So he wanted him to roll away from where his routes were going to be flowing, really putting him in a rough spot. As you can see, his only receiver on this side of the field is that B receiver that looks like he was on a drag. But AKG can no longer even look at the left side of the field. You have Ice's defender, um, you know, closing down on him, and you can see hard flat, cloud flat on the outside. The hard flat doing an adequate job, but the cloud flat also there to jump if he needs to. You see the middle linebacker dropping deep into that middle third, Ice usering over the middle. And in this style of defense, you really have to trust in your user skills. As as you can see, you are the only defender that is assigned to anything over the middle of the field. Everybody else is either flashing out into flat zones or playing super deep. There are no hook zones in this style of defense. Um, so you really have to be confident in your user ability. Obviously, anybody playing at this level is going to, more times than not, have a competent user uh, to be able to to pose a threat over the middle of the field. And you're going to see AKG is going to end up being forced. Actually, almost makes a bad throw and almost gets intercepted right there. Ends up in an incompletion. With only nine seconds left, Ice ends up going on to win this game. So I just thought that was a pretty unique defense to go ahead and look at whenever, you know, a lot of people are running, you know, crossfire variations or dollar variations, DB Fire 2 press or nickel 335 normal, Tampa 2, stuff like that. And this was the first time I had seen a style of defense like this. Problem ran a lot of 4-3 normal cover 2 at the Vegas tournament, but definitely not like this. So it'll be interesting to see if this style of defense catches on. It looks like it's just a consistent, you know, three-man blitz off the edge, which is exactly what Nickel Blitz was last year. It's not quite as quick, but it seems to be pretty consistent, along with the fact that, as you saw right there, AKG identified the mic coming off the edge, and it still didn't work. So it seems to be, you know, an unslidable, unidentifiable, I guess you can call it, blitz, three-man blitz that has very good coverage on the back end out of that, you know, cover two style shell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what I can do better for future videos. And until next time, guys, take it easy.